Okay guys, so before I get into actually how I set up the halls, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of how the spreadsheet works. Now, I have a couple of boxes set up here. The first one is existing rewards. This is basically just whatever rewards I'm walking into the first transaction with. And because the spreadsheet is not set up to track from week to week, I have to manually enter the number of awards I have for the first transaction. The next box is balance to spend. This is basically just the difference between my subtotal and my existing rewards. Basically it just calculates my out of pocket and makes sure that I am either meeting or exceeding the rewards count so that I don't have any, I don't have to pick up any small filler items. The next one is coupon count and this of course is specifically for Walgreens because you have to have just as many items as you do coupons and this box literally just does a count. It does not add up the value, it just does a count of the coupons. Next I have the three columns which basically do most of the work. This column price adds up the price of all the items entered. Coupons, you see it does the coupon count, it also adds up the value down here. And then rewards, anytime you pick up an item and it has a reward attached, you enter it here and it adds it up. Basically this just provides you the rewards that you'll be passing over to the next transaction. Subtotal is just the price column minus the coupon column. Existing reward is just equal to the amount that's entered on top and out of pocket. Same as balance to spend is just the difference between subtotal and existing rewards. New rewards are calculated down here from the rewards column and then they are also passed over to the second transaction which you will appear automatically so you don't have to enter that one in manually and the second transaction will pass over to the third transaction and so on and so forth. Currently I only have this set up to do four transactions at a time. That's usually the most I ever do. So without further ado, let's get to setting up a haul. Okay, for transaction one, I'm gonna leave the existing rewards at zero. Even though I'm walking in with cash cards, I don't have any ECBs that restrict me to a certain dollar amount, so there's no need for me to fill that in. The first item I'm going to add are the Snickers that are on sale this week for 50 cents. I did receive a 25 cent off two coupon from the Red Box, and this week when you purchase two of them, you will receive back a dollar reward, so I add that all in. And I actually do the deal twice because I have two of the Red Box coupons. The next item I add in are the Colgate toothbrushes that are on sale for $2.99 this week. There are a dollar off coupons available and when you purchase these items you get back $2 in ECBs. There's a limit of two on this deal so I add two toothbrushes. The next item I add in is one of the Glade Scents and Spray refills. It is $4.29 this week. I did receive a dollar off coupon at the end of one of my receipts, so I add that in. I also add a spray so that I can use the $2 off two coupon that I got from Dollar General. Now once all that's in, I'm still kind of short of the $15 needed to use the $3 off Facebook coupon. So I add in two of the Essence of Beauty hand sanitizers that are on clearance for $0.49. Cents. And then this allows me to use the $2 off two coupon that I received from the Winter Reinventing Beauty magazine. This makes the hand sanitizers free and also gives me a dollar in overage. Now that I'm over the $15 mark, I'll go ahead and add in the $3 off CVS coupon. And then transaction one is complete. My total will be $4.74 and I will receive six dollars in new rewards to go into transaction two. In transaction two, the way I've set up the spreadsheet, it already pulls over the six dollars in existing rewards from transaction one, so no need to fill it in this time. The first item I'm going to do in transaction two are the Bertoli sauces. They are three for five this week, and when you purchase ten dollars, you will receive three dollars back in ECB so the, I'll go ahead and add in all that information
I did have 60 cent off one coupons however I only had four of them so therefore that's why you only see four of them now because I've picked up ten dollars worth of the Botoli I'll go ahead and add in the three dollar reward for this deal and now I see that my subtotal is ten dollars I want to do another fifteen dollar deal so I'll go ahead and add in one of the optic white toothpaste this week they're three ninety nine and there is a dollar off coupon for it you also get back a two dollar ECB so I'll add that in the reward column now I'm only about a dollar away from the fifteen dollars so to round this one out I'll go ahead and add the jelly beans that are ninety nine cents and then there's no coupon but there is a ninety nine cents ECB I should get back in my opinion this gets me close enough to fifteen dollars so I'll go ahead and add in the three dollar off coupon and this is my total for transaction number two I'll pay two dollars and fifty eight cents but I will receive five dollars and ninety nine cents in ECBs to carry over to the third transaction transaction number three begins with five dollars and twenty nine cents being carried over from transaction number two the first item I'm going to add are two of the Glade Scents and Spray refills. They are $4.29 and I'll use a $2 off two coupon. The next item are two of the sprays which are $2.69 and once again I'll use one of the $2 off two coupons. Now because this has completed the $20 needed for the Glade promotion I'll go ahead and add the $10 reward. Because my total is still less than $15, I'll add two of the tunas, which are buy one get one free this week. I'll also use the dollar off coupons that I received from Facebook. My total is now $14.96, which I believe is close enough to $15 to add the $3 off coupon. This brings my total to negative three. The negative three should be applied towards my tax and I'll walk away with $10 in ECBs. And that completes transaction number three. And that is pretty much it. As with anything, you have to come up with a process that works for you. Currently this works for me when I've tried to do my calculations on paper, it just ends up being a disaster because everything is scribbled all over the place and I just lose track of what I'm trying to accomplish. Now another reason this works for me is because if I want to change up a transaction I can easily just copy and paste or drag and drop and everything is recalculated automatically there's no well I'll do one of these here and do one of that there and erasing and all of that I just can't deal with all of that Another reason this works for me is when I print this out and take this to the store with me even if the items aren't exactly the same price I already can see where I should be in terms of my totals it's not me pulling out a calculator and having to add up like you know 10 items on the fly I can easily see if something's going to be 10 20 cents off or a dollar it's not that big a deal and then I'm not holding up the line so that's why this works for me like I said you have to do what works for you so if you have any questions guys please leave them below I'll get back to you and try to answer ev each and every one to the best of my abilities and that's it so take care guys hope this helps someone enjoy the rest of your day and be blessed mm -hmm.